Li Guanchuan traveled to the realm of cultivation, but due to his mediocre qualifications, he was exiled by his family for training. After many years, he remained mediocre. After a blind date, he unexpectedly discovered a very new way of cultivating immortality, and from then on, he diligently practiced day after day. Countless years later, tides rise and fall, and time changes Li Guanchuan, who is already a living fossil in the world of cultivation, sighed and said, Cultivation. That's the simplest thing. Keywords of the novel Go getting married in the immortal cultivation realm with no pop-ups, go getting married in the immortal cultivation realm. Download the complete set of TXT, and read the latest chapter on go getting married in the immortal cultivation realm. Chapter 1 Dating You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 1 Dating What are your strengths? In the elegant and quiet tea house of Xianxu and Qingyan City, the nun was the first to speak. For today's blind date, the nun dressed up meticulously, using all kinds of gorgeous clothing, only because the matchmaker said the other party was a beautiful man skilled in alchemy and drawing symbols. And Li Guanchuan, who was sitting opposite him, could indeed be called handsome and handsome. His long hair was half tied and half draped, his eyebrows and eyes were warm, his temperament was free and unrestrained, and he had a bit of a fairy-like demeanor. In short, the nun is very satisfied with the other person's appearance. The skill of Dan Fu is broad but not precise. Li Guanchuan's answer also satisfied the nun. Usually, this statement is a sign of humility, not to mention Li Guanchuan's appearance, temperament, and behavior, all of which reveal that he is a member of a family of cultivators. Only those who come from a family of cultivating immortals will possess this kind of cultivation. The imperceptible straightness of the female cultivator's waist slightly reveals her existing capital. The nun pinched the teacup with both hands and took a light sip at her mouth, taking the opportunity to sneak a glance at Li Guanchuan. Seeing the other party smiling and their eyes sincere, she felt a little proud in her heart. A man's true nature, this statement is absolutely true. Excuse me, where does Dao Yu live? The nun asked with a cheerful expression on her face. Daheng Yongning Mansion, Li Guanchuan replied. Upon hearing this, the nun became even more satisfied. The Daheng Immortal Dynasty is not a secular small country, occupying a spiritual pulse of 100,000 miles, and the national fortune is prosperous. Nowadays, in the city of Qingyan where they are located, there is only 100 meter spiritual vein, but there are 60,000 to 70,000 cultivators in the city. In the early stage of qi refining, cultivators like them could only live in the outskirts of Qingyan city and could not even enter the city, let alone come into contact with the first level spiritual pulse located in the center. The Li family, located in the Yoning prefecture of the capital city of Daheng and at the center of the spiritual pulse, is a prestigious family that has been passed down for thousands of years, and their ancestors are also old monsters in the period of transforming into gods. If she could marry into the Li family, even if she were to scrape some resources on the edge, it would enable her to soar to fame. The female cultivator is basically certain that Li Guanchuan, the son of Li Gongzi, was probably sent out of the family to experience in the immortal market due to his mediocre qualifications. There are only two ways to return to the family. 1. Step into building the foundation. 2. Marry a wife and have children. The first point is to showcase one's talents and prove that one can still contribute to the family. The second option is to have no choice but to marry and take concubines, and place hope on the next generation to obtain family rewards through children. If the child's spiritual foundation is good, the couple may still be able to return to their family and enjoy their later years. The female cultivator's face was beaming with a smile. She had a level of cultivation in refining qi, and with Li Guanchuan's expertise in alchemy symbols, she was sure to give birth to several offspring with good spiritual roots. Then, she left the mixed land of fish and dragons and headed to the Daheng Yongming mansion the female cultivator looked at Li Guanchuan with exquisite eyes. With just these two conditions, she could already give him an 80-point rating. After all, cultivating immortality emphasizes wealth, 
couple, law, and land. Without the help of their families and sects, cultivators like them with mediocre qualifications would find it difficult to lay a foundation in their practice until death, and even end up feeling depressed on this path. So, finding a place to rely on is particularly important for nuns, even if they are on the edge of the family, it is always better than not having one. By the way, I don't know how accomplished Zayadeoyu is in the Dan Fu. The female cultivator's beautiful eyes were full of anticipation. Li Guanchuan picked up his teacup and took a sip. They are all first.order inferior products. The female cultivator was slightly taken aback and then asked, where is the cultivation level? The second layer of gas refining. Ling Zhen qualification. For lower grade spiritual roots, gold, wood, fire, and earth. Dot. For Li Guanchuan's honesty, the nun nodded slightly, feeling relieved in her heart. If the other party is a talented immortal seedling, it is impossible for the cultivation family to release it for training. The nun smiled again and said, it doesn't matter. As long as we reach the first level of the Dan Fu skill and the middle stage of Qi refining before the age of 40, there is a high probability that the offspring born will also be of the middle and top level spiritual roots. In this way, we have a chance to build a foundation before the age of 60. Li Guanchuan hesitated for a moment and said, well, I'm afraid we can't achieve this. Why? Didn't the matchmaker tell you my true age? So you. A sense of unease surged in the female cultivator's heart. Li Guanchuan smiled and said, I'm over 40 this year and have taken the family's resident yen pill. Since everyone is going on blind dates, Li Guanchuan thinks it's better to be sincere. After all, he no longer has the recklessness and vigor of his youth, and has long been smoothed out by time. This. The female cultivator was greatly disappointed in her heart. In her forties, the second level of qi refining was still a lower level spiritual root in the fourth series, and the first level lower level Dan Fu skill was equivalent to not having it. Only when this person could return to the Li family in Daheng did they have a ghost. The nun pulled down her beautiful coat slightly, wrapped her graceful body tightly, and smiled apologetically, Friend Dao, I wish you good luck. Goodbye. Understanding. Li Guanchuan nodded slightly, not feeling anything inappropriate. As the saying goes, the immortal way is ruthless. When everyone comes out for blind dates, it's just about each holding their own needs. As for appearance there are many handsome men and beautiful women in the cultivation world, who would care about a useless skin bag. He traveled from earth to the world of cultivating immortals for over forty years. At the age of twelve, he left the Yongning prefecture of Daheng with his fellow brothers and went to the land of Xianxu to cultivate and experience. Now, they have all been separated and there is no news. After struggling at the bottom for so many years, he has already taken many things lightly. He has also tried to diligently cultivate and rise up like the protagonist of a novel about waste wood. There is no spiritual channel dojo for one thing, and no cultivation resources for the other no matter how hard he tried, it was all in vain, and in the end, he could only learn some survival skills of alchemy in drawing symbols, barely surviving. Now there is really no other choice but to try the path of getting married and having children, and demand some cultivation resources from the family. But his fourth grade spiritual root also makes it difficult for new Xiao to give birth to offspring with spiritual roots, we must give it a try eventually. Li Guanchuan sighed deeply in his heart. Miss, I'm sorry, what I need is a cultivator, not an extraordinary martial artist. There were still many people coming for blind dates in the tea house, and from the table next to him came the voice of the male cultivator. The other person stood up and spoke calmly. I have already paid for Ling Cha. Goodbye. The woman sitting opposite the male cultivator was wearing a loose cloth jacket with patches on it. Upon hearing the male cultivator's voice, her body trembled imperceptibly. It wasn't until the male cultivator walked away that Li Guanchuan heard a mosquito fly like, thank you. Li Guanchuan not only turned his head to look around, but also saw the woman's face slightly emaciated. 
She lowered her head with a sense of inferiority, and her slightly rough little hand held a teacup, silently sitting there without saying a word. After a long time, the woman let out a small sigh, put down her teacup and prepared to leave, only to notice a handsome and elegant man sitting in front of her. She was immediately startled and stared blankly at him. Girl, are you alone? Coincidentally, I'm also alone. Let's talk. Li Guanchuan sat down confidently and finally saw the woman's face clearly. Her hair is high and curled up, with a pair of large and round apricot eyes under her eyebrows. There are also a few strands of fine green silk floating in front of her, and her nose is straight. Her rosy sandalwood mouth is slightly open, and her oval face has become a melon seed face. From the perspective of Li Guanchuan, who comes from a prestigious family, this woman only needs to gain a little weight, tidy up well, and put on a long dress. She is definitely a stunning beauty. The woman regained her senses and quickly lowered her head like a panicked deer, whispering, I, I am a mortal warrior. I eat a lot. Looking at the silly and silly appearance of the woman, Li Guanchuan was amused. Perhaps it was because of love at first sight, he said sincerely. My name is Li Guanchuan, and I was born into the Li family of Shuxian in Yongming Prefecture, Daheng. Due to being a lower-level spiritual root qualification of the fourth clan, I was exiled by the family for training. As for my parents, the immortal way is ruthless, let alone say. I am three years old in my forties this year, with a cultivation level of two for qi refining and a lower level of dan fu skill. If you don't mind, we can worship and get married now. How about that? Faced with Li Guanchuan confessing her family background and cultivation, the woman stared at him blankly, but Xing's eyes showed an extra hint of vigilance. I, I am a mortal warrior. The woman lowered her head and, with almost no social skills, could only repeat this sentence. I'm no different from ordinary people. Li Guanchuan smiled and said, Qi refining cultivators can only live until they are over a hundred years old. If they hold on for another twenty years, it will just make up for the gap between our twenty years old age. Don't worry, I have nothing to do with you, I just have no hope of returning to the ordinary path. The woman looked up at Li Guanchuan, who had clear and bright eyes, a smile like a spring breeze, and a sincere and calm face. After a long time, the woman put down the teacup that covered her face and introduced herself seriously. My name is Wen Rongxin, and I am eighteen years old. I was born into a farming family in Shanlu town. Three years ago, the town was raided by bandits, and my parents were killed while protecting me from escaping. Then I arrived at Qingyan City and was found to be a five-series evil spirit root, and can only practice martial arts. Li Guanchuan nodded slightly, and the other party came to the blind date because they couldn't live any longer. For Wu Fu, food is a resource. But from Wen Rongxin's own condition, she obviously can't even afford a full meal. The two continued chatting, and a slight smile gradually appeared on Wen Rongxin's thin oval face, with curved eyebrows and a hint of bright and charming charm. Half a month later, after half a month of acquaintance, Wen Rongxin has completely taken off her guard. The two also decided to schedule their wedding today. Li Guanchuan lives in a shanty town in the eastern suburbs of Qingyan City. The wooden houses are divided into small rooms, and the outside courtyard is planted with spiritual vegetables and rice. Each household is separated by a fence. The desolate and rudimentary houses were hung with red lanterns and pasted with the words, she, adding a touch of warmth. After dinner, the two of them paid respects and got married. Not long after, Wen Rong ran back to the bedroom with a gentle heart, putting on a red hood and a hot face. She sat quietly and nervously by the edge of the bed, waiting for her ideal husband. Li Guanchuan, who has been a craftsman for two lifetimes, walked slowly and felt very nervous inside. After all, he is just a naive big boy, with only theoretical knowledge in his mind and no practical experience. Li Guanchuan adjusted his emotions and whispered. Madam, in the future. Please give me more guidance. 
Hmm. Wen Rongxin let out a subtle murmur. The next second, the gentle breeze brushed by, and the flickering candlelight instantly extinguished. The red character, she, is particularly bright. The full moon outside the window is large and bright. Two hours later. A pure energy suddenly rises from within. Li Guanchuan's face changed and he quickly withdrew. He sat cross-legged, closed his eyes, and focused on his spiritual consciousness. What shocked him was that his spiritual consciousness, which had intended to examine the condition of his internal organs, unexpectedly fell into a dark space. The surroundings here are empty and quiet, with only a peculiar big tree standing among them. This tree stands at a height of fifty or sixty zhang, with a spreading crown, angular twigs, and finely feather-shaped leaves. It is very green, and the flowers on it look like pomfrets, with scattered threads like horse tassels. It is pink, white, and pink, delicate and lovely. In an instant, two golden and red rays of light emerged from the roots of the tree, transforming into a golden dragon and a phoenix, crossing and rising, finally breaking through the dark space and transforming into pure energy, stored in all four limbs of the body. This. Li Guanchuan widened his eyes. He recognized this velvet flower spirit tree, located on Huanchi Mountain to the east of Qingyan City P.S. Newcomer's New Book, Seeking Tickets for Follow-Up Reading, End of this Chapter. Chapter 2. Breakthroughs. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 Breakthroughs That Year, On the 18th, Li Guanchuan spent five and a half years struggling in the Xianxu, dragging his exhausted body to Huanchi Mountain and standing like a servant. After layers of screening, he was still eliminated by the sect due to his inferior spiritual root qualification. Before leaving, he saw the huge velvet spirit tree from a distance can it be that at that time, the velvet flower spirit tree entered my body. Li Guanchuan's face was solemn. As early as twenty-five years ago, there were rumors about the disappearance of the sex treasure tree in Huanchi Mountain. As a result, the founding ancestor of Huanchi Mountain has been unable to step into the golden elixir for a long time, and now his longevity will be exhausted it's broken. Li Guanchuan's heart sank. This is a safe revenge for breaking the path. Once someone discovers that the velvet flower spirit tree is inside my body, the founder of the foundation cannot come and slap me to death. Soon, Li Guanchuan calmed down. At this point, the velvet flower spirit tree cannot be returned, it is impossible in this lifetime. You should know that for someone like him who cultivates at the bottom level, it is difficult to reach the first level spiritual meridian for a lifetime, and the amount of spiritual energy he can absorb for cultivation is even rarer. Without any adventures, there is almost no hope of building a foundation in his lifetime. Now there is a treasure tree inside him that can give birth to spiritual energy. Do you want him to return it? There's no door. Moreover, Li Guanchuan clearly felt that the pure energy born from the velvet flower spirit tree was helping him slowly open up his meridians. As long as he puts in a little effort, he can break through to the third level of gas refining at any time. About an hour later spiritual energy expands and widens the meridians, and then slowly stores them in the limbs and bones, approaching the sea of energy in the Dantian, transforming into spiritual power to feed back the body. Li Guanchuan opened his eyes and exhaled a mouthful of turbid air, with a happy expression on his face. Refining gas on three levels. He, who has been stuck in the second layer of gas refining for twenty years, has finally broken through to the third layer of gas refining. This also strengthened Li Guanchuan's inner thoughts. Even if it's death, jumping off the Huanchi mountain, he can't return the velvet flower spirit tree. Li Guanchuan thought to himself that he had been in Qingyan city for twenty years. If the founder of the foundation could sense the Ronghua spirit tree, he would have come to find him long ago from this, it can be seen that as long as he develops calmly and does not act casually, there is a high probability that he will be fine. Next, we need to refine alchemy and draw symbols, practice diligently. That is, be considerate and strive to build a foundation as soon as possible. In the darkness, Li Guanxuan lowered his head and looked at his hands. 
Although I have lost a craft that is almost perfect, it seems that I am not at a disadvantage to harvest a treasure tree that can give birth to spiritual energy, as well as a petite wife. Moreover, Li Guanchuan suspected that his qualifications as a lower-grade spiritual root in the Four Series were related to this craft. After all, those who have studied calculus know that this product, the smaller the derivative, however, what is the pure energy born from the velvet flower spirit tree? It's like spiritual energy, but not like spiritual energy. Li Guanchuan frowned and pondered deeply. The pure energy first lingered on his limbs and bones for a while, then began to wander through various meridians, slowly transforming into spiritual energy, and finally gathered in the sea of Dantian Qi. Forget it, my vision is too low and my knowledge is too shallow now. It's better not to think about this kind of building foundation and alchemy. I'll worry about it when I reach that level in the future, so as not to disturb my Tao mind. Li Guanchuan smiled slightly and then looked at Wen Rongxin, who had already fallen asleep, with countless emotions. Perhaps it was the mercy of heaven that gave the two struggling individuals at the bottom hope of survival, and even the long dot awaited path of immortality. In addition, the velvet flower spirit tree can be activated, which also contributes to the warmth of the heart. After all, the velvet flower spirit tree also has a nickname. Acacia. If the couple are not united, the pure energy in the velvet flower spirit tree may not appear. Thinking of love at first sight in the tea house, as well as the two words of fate in the past half month of interaction, Li Guanchuan couldn't help but sigh. It was truly mysterious and wonderful. Before putting on his clothes, Li Guanchuan couldn't help but sigh. I don't think this is a lower grade spiritual root of the fourth series. It's clearly an excellent water spiritual root, humph. Li Guanchuan meditated cross legged for another hour, his mind clear, and then slowly fell asleep with his little wife in his arms. The next morning, perhaps due to being too tired last night, when Rome woke up in a daze and found one hand resting on him. He carefully picked it up and put it into the bed. Then, when Rongxin tiptoed to the bedside and glanced at Li Guanchuan, who was sleeping soundly. While feeling at ease, a faint smile appeared on his delicate pink oval face, revealing two cute pear vortices. Wearing her shoes, when Rongxin had just stood up and was about to walk out when she suddenly let out a soft cry and stumbled towards the front. At this moment, a warm big hand grabbed her directly and then took the opportunity to embrace her. When Rongxin looked up and saw a handsome face with a straight smile, blushing with embarrassment. He buried his hand in his arms without making a sound. Li Guanchuan knew she was shy and had a relatively simple and delicate temperament. If he continued to tease her, he probably wouldn't dare to look at him for a whole day. You can lie in bed for a while, I'll go make breakfast for you, feel better before getting out of bed and walking. Li Guanchuan gently placed her on the bed, covered her with a blanket, and spoke softly. I, I am Wu Fu, I will recover soon. When Rongxin grabbed the blanket and covered his head, hiding under the blanket and said in a muffled voice, You go practice first, and I'll make breakfast for you. Lie down obediently, even if it's half an hour. The body of a martial artist can't withstand the torment of a cultivator, said Li Guanchuan. Oh. When Rongxin pulled down the blanket, revealing only a pair of round and large apricot eyes. He looked pitifully at Li Guanchuan, indicating that he could get out of bed and work. Li Guanchuan said, take a good rest. I need to be considerate tonight, be good. When Rong's heart was filled with doubts. What does the meaning of the intimate words from Xiangong mean? After Li Guanchuan left, when Rong silently murmured that time would pass quickly. Half an hour had just arrived, and when Rongxin quickly got up. After folding the blanket, he walked to the hall and saw that Li Guanchuan had already prepared breakfast. Two bowls of noodles, one big and one small, six boiled eggs, three big mantu, and a cup of warm milk. Oh, I still have milk, when Rongxin looked puzzled. She remembers that there is no milk at home. I went out and bought some back. Very, very expensive. 
when Rongxin felt a little heartbroken, knowing that Li Guanchuan had bought it for her. Li Guanchuan smiled and said, Don't worry, I still need to refine pills and draw talismans today. With the Huiyuan pill and amulet that I have refined these days, I can probably sell around eight inferior spirit stones. That's also very expensive. When Rongxin lowered her head, her tone a bit low. She knows the price, and this glass of milk with spiritual energy costs at least five tails of spiritual sand, a whole half piece of inferior spiritual stone. Hurry up and eat, don't let it cool down for a while, it won't taste good. Li Guanchuan pushed the large bowl of noodles in front of Wen Rongxin, and took the small bowl and started sucking. He has spiritual energy to supplement his physical strength, and eating less food is fine. As long as he steps into building a foundation, he can gradually reduce his demand for food. But when Rongxin still needs to practice martial arts, strengthen physical fitness, and cannot be stingy about food. I, if I eat less in the future, you won't have to work so hard. When Rongxin looked up, and Xing's eyes were full of seriousness. Li Guanchuan said while eating, don't worry, the hard times won't last long. When I improve my cultivation, we can eat whatever we want without being so meticulous. You just eat your fill and spend most of your energy practicing martial arts. In summary, the body is the capital of revolution, and you must remember this sentence when Rongxin roughly understood what Li Guanchuan meant, blushing and stuttering, but. Li Guanchuan picked up an egg to shell and interjected with a smile, saying. There's nothing wrong with it. Only when you're strong and healthy can my qi be better. Besides, I'm still a cultivator, and most of my energy comes from spiritual energy. Food doesn't have much effect on me. Only by practicing copper skin and iron bones as soon as possible can our couple's life become happier. Do you understand? After finishing speaking, Li Guanchuan put the peeled eggs into a warm heart bowl and said with a serious expression. Madam, don't say these things to outsiders. No one can do it. Xiao, I got it. When Rongxin nodded with a flushed face. Hurry up and eat. Okay. After breakfast, Li Guanchuan came to the cultivation room. This is the cultivation room, as well as the alchemy room and the drawing room. There's no other way, I'm poor and can only free up such a small place. Li Guanchuan took out a rune pen, a small bottle of spiritual blood cinnabar, and ten first-order rune papers, and began to concentrate his spiritual consciousness on the rune pen. The magic spewed out, and as the tip of the pen fell, Li Guanchuan quickly outlined spiritual patterns on the talisman paper, with his pen running smoothly without any interruption. As he was about to end, Li Guanchuan suddenly felt relaxed and his heart moved as he continued to outline spiritual patterns with his talisman pen. After a moment, a pale yellow light appeared on the rune paper and then converged. First grade intermediate. Li Guanchuan wiped the sweat beads on his forehead. Although his mana was greatly consumed, he truly drew a first-level intermediate-level seal script. A first-order lower-grade amulet, with a market price of one lower-grade spirit stone. First-level medium-grade amulet, but eight inferior spirit stones. Huiyuan Dan has the same price. Is difficulty the reason for that pure energy? Li Guanchuan remembered the energy that seemed both spiritual and not spiritual. In the dark, it also improved his experience of drawing symbols. Take a break first, then draw a few talismans and see if there are any changes in alchemy tomorrow. Li Guanchuan meditated cross-legged, closing his eyes and adjusting his breath. After he scrapped three talismans, the second first-level intermediate talisman succeeded. For a whole day, Li Guanchuan drew four first-level intermediate-level amulets. Night, light rain. Li Guanchuan began to practice, with a warm and caring heart wiping the sweat of the Prime Minister on the side. Rainwater falls from outside the window, and the ground is muddy, like a light rain on the street, moist and crispy. The spring tide brings rain at night, rushing in. Finally with wind the spring rain sneaks in night. Silently, it moistens everything. End of this chapter
Chapter 3 Fongshir You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Fongshir Until dawn, the light rain slowly stopped, and the leaves outside the window hung crystal clear water droplets. The sunlight penetrated the clouds and fell to the ground, like the sky opening its eyes. Watching the sun rise, when Rongxin, who had rested for a while, began to tidy up the sheets and bedding, intending to take them all and wash them clean. Li Guanchuan went to the cultivation room with a face full of spring breeze, ready to start refining pills. About three hours later, Li Guanchuan looked at the pile of medicine residue in the alchemy furnace, not only lost in thought both cultivation and talismanship have been improved, but the art of alchemy has not made any progress. It seems that pure energy has little effect on alchemy for the time being. However, one thing that can be proven is that after being considerate last night, my cultivation did not directly break through to the fourth level of qi refining, but rather solidified on the third level of qi refining. In addition, Li Guanchuan also felt a breath of vitality from the pure energy. Can these vitality increase my longevity? Li Guanchuan was stunned. No wonder the ancestor of Huanqi Mountain fought his life to retrieve it, even willing to speak up. Anyone who provided clues could receive the rich rewards of Huanqi Mountain. Having this precious tree is equivalent to having longevity. Not right. Huanqi Mountain ancestor probably doesn't know the instructions for using the Ronghua spirit tree, after all, cultivators like him with high status don't understand what pity and sincerity are. Li Guanchuan was deeply moved that only with the unity of husband and wife, and the added love, can the velvet flower spirit tree give birth to a scene of dragon and phoenix prosperity. Only when such a vision appears, pure energy will flow into all four limbs. The most coveted thing for cultivators is now within my body. As long as I continue to develop well, even if they haven't died in the future, my cultivation will catch up with them. Thinking of this, Li Guanchuan calmed down slightly. Since being considerate can cultivate and increase longevity, there is no need for him to fight or kill others. Live a simple life, endure until all those ancestors and monsters die, and he naturally becomes invincible. Let's draw talismans first. Draw talismans during the day, be considerate at night, and make money while practicing. Sooner or later, you will have an invincible day. Li Guanchuan stretched lazily, with a smile on his handsome face. Having traveled to the world of cultivation for so many years, he only felt today that he could live well in this bizarre world. Ten days later. Pure energy once again filled all his limbs and bones, but Li Guanchuan only felt that his vitality was stronger than before, and his cultivation did not improve, and his talisman skills only improved a little. The cultivation of immortality emphasizes the accumulation of time and the natural process. Well, we can't be too hasty. Madam, I need to go to the local market, sell all the talismans I've drawn these days, and buy some spiritual rice and food to supplement your nutrition. Oh, good. When Rongxin quickly ran over holding onto his clothes and waited on Li Guanchuan to put them on. His tone was full of reluctance and concern, and he whispered. Xiang, Xiang Gong, you need to be careful. When you encounter something, run. Just run. Don't worry, I'm risking my life more than anyone else now. Li Guanchuan pinched when Rongxin's face, and compared to before, when Rongxin's skin had become smooth and tender, quite charming. When Rongxin did not dodge, and her clear and bright apricot eyes were still full of worry. Any place of trading is filled with hidden dangers, and once the money is exposed, it will definitely be targeted by some robbers. Wait patiently for me to come back at home, don't worry. After speaking, Li Guanchuan went out. Without taking two steps, two cultivators, one male and one female, passed by. The male cultivator looked surprised and said. Guanchuan Taoist friend, are you leaving now? I thought you were going to be a caged bird for another two months, but it seems like it's not very good. The nun smiled and said, Is it my younger sister who doesn't understand? Do you want my sister to teach her some real skills? Let's have a fight in the neighborhood, and when you need help, 
feel free to speak up. Seeing these two people singing together, Li Guanchuan's face was filled with helplessness. The male cultivator's name is Chen Yin Shan, and the female cultivator's name is Zhao Gili. They are a couple who live next to him. Before, there were many sounds of wooden beds hitting the wall, which was annoying and very angry. However, these two neighbors were actually good people. At that time, Li Guanchuan didn't have enough talismans, so he still borrowed them from them. Chen Yin Shan smiled and said, Don't talk nonsense. Brother Guanchuan is a ruthless person who has been accumulating for decades. Just a few decades of enlightenment in a wooden house is enough to keep his sister dot in dot law up with his own pace. Why do you need to point fingers at him? Zhao Gili suddenly realized and said, I see. It seems that I still don't understand. All right, that's it. Don't make fun of me, you couple. I have to go to the city's neighborhood to buy something, so I won't talk to you guys for now. Faced with the repeated attacks of two experienced drivers, Li Guanchuan chose to avoid fighting and then planned to escape. Chen Yin Shan reminded, Brother Guanchuan, it's not very stable outside recently. Go and return early, don't delay for too long. Upon hearing this, Li Guanchuan's heart twitched and his face was full of confusion as he said, What's so unsettling? Let me reveal some information to listen to. Chen Yin Shan's face suddenly became solemn and he said slowly, Someone has reported that 25 years ago, the suddenly disappearing sect treasure tree of Huanxi Mountain appeared in Qingyin City. So now, people from Huanxi Mountain and various forces are gathering here to search for the whereabouts of the treasure tree. Upon hearing this news, Li Guanchuan was almost scared out of his wits. Did you expose yourself? That's not right. If he's really exposed, why doesn't the elder of Huanxi Mountain come over and slap him to death? How could there be any news coming out? Conspiracy Li Guanchuan suddenly had these two words in his mind. Someone was deliberately spreading false information, inducing some people to come to Qingyin City, intending to catch them all in one go. Thinking of this, Li Guanchuan breathed a soft sigh of relief. The velvet spirit tree stayed in the dark space, and no one could sense it. Even that pure energy has been slowly transforming into the spiritual energy he needs recently, and no one will be able to detect anything wrong besides, he rarely leaves the eastern suburbs and just buys some food around. Li Guanchuan looked serious and said, since that's the case, I need to go back quickly and then stay in seclusion for half a year. There is a subpoena. Okay. After bidding farewell, Li Guanchuan immediately went to the Dongjifang city in Qingyin city. He must go home before sunset. Entering the city of Qingyin, one can clearly feel that there are more and more people, most of whom are grassroots casual cultivators, mixed with good and bad. The entire east street of Qingyin city is a neighborhood market, with mobile stalls everywhere in houses and buildings on both sides of the street, all of which are spiritual elixirs and treasures that cultivators need very much. Li Guanchuan has a total of 23 first-level intermediate-level amulets and 6 first-level lower-level return elemental pills in his hand. If this thing goes to a big store, it may be bought at a low price by others and used as a scapegoat. If there is a slight mistake, you may even be targeted by the robbing cultivator, which inevitably leads to some trouble. So Li Guanchuan decided to slowly dispose of these things at the small stall as much as possible. If there was not enough time in the future, he would take them to the big shop to exchange for spirit stones. Besides, he also needs to purchase some talisman-making materials and spirit rice meat and poultry. It doesn't matter how many inferior spirit stones are lost, as long as it's safe, after all, time is limited. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Gratitude You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Gratitude Li Guanchuan spent half an hour wandering around the mobile stall in Dongjifang City before finally releasing two first-level intermediate talismans and two first-level lower-level return elixirs. Harvest 17 inferior spirit stones, which is one less than the market price. He still has 20.1 amulets and 4 revival pills on hand. 
but he can no longer sell them at the small stall. Li Guanchuan vaguely felt that when he took out the first level intermediate talisman, many cultivators' eyes were on him. If we sell the remaining talismans and healing pills on the small stall again, it may really attract robbing cultivators Li Guanchuan let out a sigh in his heart, it seemed like he had to go to a shop, at least it was safe. In this world, we really don't allow the lower class to engage in scattered cultivation. Finally, Li Guanchuan arrived outside a magnificent and decorated large shop, surrounded by a faint white mist, and a faint glimmer of glass color could still be seen passing by. Now, this large shop is guarded by a formation. Even foundation building cultivators find it difficult to break through in a short period of time. Sign up. Wanxiang Pavilion. Li Guanchuan knew about the Wanxiang Pavilion, which is a super shop in the cultivation world with everything inside. Li Guanchuan walked into the shop, where the interior decoration was magnificent and exuding the word luxury everywhere. A young man who worked as a laborer saw Li Guanchuan and immediately greeted him with a smile on his face, saying politely, Sir, can I help you with anything? I want to sell something, Li Guanchuan expressed his intention. The younger generation nodded with a smile, slightly bent down and made a please gesture, saying, Please come with me. Quickly, Li Guanchuan was taken to a pitch black room. Candlelight lit up, and an old man dressed as a businessman suddenly stood inside the counter, laughing. What do you want to sell? As the younger generation's intelligence declined, Li Guanchuan looked at the clone in front of him and said in a loud voice, 21 first-level intermediate-level talismans, and 4 first-level lower-level return elemental pills. At the Wanxiang Pavilion, each transaction cannot be less than 100 spirit stones. Of course, Wang Xiang will not disclose any information about the seller to anyone. The shopkeeper said straightforwardly, six amulets and one lower grade spirit stone, at the normal market price of a yuan dan, totaling 130 lower grade spirit stones. Blood deficiency with over 40 spirit stones Li Guanchuan felt helpless to roast, but he could not help it. Compared with these dozens of spiritual stones, safety is the most important. After reaching the deal, Li Guanchuan purchased 100 first-level talismans, 10 bottles of spiritual blood cinnabar, 1,000 kilograms of spiritual rice, and some spiritual vegetables and meat. Totaling 90 inferior spiritual stones. The shopkeeper lit the order and looked at Li Guanchuan with a smile, asking, Are you a first-class intermediate-level talisman? Li Guanchuan nodded. The shopkeeper said again, Judging from the quality of these talismans, about eight of them were painted in a rough and obscure way, and then gradually improved, appearing somewhat skilled. I believe you have just stepped into the first level of intermediate grade. I'm not sure if you're interested in buying some methods of making symbols such as ice symbols and flame symbols to practice. It's not expensive, and both methods only cost ten lower grade spirit stones. If you draw a first-level intermediate-level seal script, you can sell at least seven or eight spirit stones per piece, sure. Li Guanchuan nodded and agreed, after all, he only knew how to draw talismans. If he learned more about the drawing techniques of two types of talismans and seals, besides increasing his income, he could also have two more ways to save his life. Upon hearing this, the shopkeeper smiled and said, Explosive Spirit Talisman is a powerful talisman seal script. The method of making talismans only requires ten lower grade spirit stones. Li Guanchuan. Dot. I am truly the branch manager of the Wanxiang Pavilion, and I am skilled in sales. Li Guanchuan said, I have a friend who needs to practice double cultivation recently. Do you have any recommendations from the shopkeeper? The shopkeeper looked at Li Guanchuan, who was slightly supporting his waist, and pondered for two seconds before asking. Your friend. Is your physical condition the same as yours? If so, I would recommend Yin Yang Foundation and Life Skill. It's not expensive, only 3,000 spirit stones, and 3,000 spirit stones can touch the threshold of foundation building making a steady profit without losing. Li Guanchuan chuckled and said, My friend doesn't have so many spirit stones. 
The shopkeeper suddenly realized and then smiled, saying, the minimum requirement for dual cultivation secret methods is 500 spirit stones. It's okay then, I'll go back and talk to my friends. Understood, understood. By the way, what is the price of the first tier mid-range chi gathering pill? 15 pieces of inferior spirit stones. Here are two. And some things that can nourish chi in blood, all of them, dot. After leaving the Wanxiang Pavilion, Li Guanxuan dared not stay in the Dongjifang city for a while and mixed into the crowd to leave directly. Along the way, Li Guanxuan was very vigilant. He was really worried that Qingyan city would suddenly erupt into a foundation-level battle, which would affect his little Karami. After all, Qingyan city is very unstable now. If possible, try not to stay. Shortly after arriving home, Li Guanxuan finally felt a little relieved. When Rongxin has been waiting in the yard, occasionally tiptoeing to see if her husband has returned. Until he saw the figure of Li Guanxuan, when Rongxin quickly ran to the doorstep and opened the door to welcome the Xianggong back. Li Guanxuan walked into the house with a warm waist and said with a smile, I bought a lot of things this time. At least for a year and a half, we don't have to go out anymore. Hmm. When Rongxin leaned against Li Guanxuan's arms, her face flushed. When she saw Li Guanxuan taking out so many spiritual rice, vegetables, and meat, when Rongxin couldn't help but slightly open her rosy little mouth, with a face that was difficult to understand. Too much. It will break down. Stupid, look at what this is, how could it possibly break? Li Guanxuan lightly flicked when Rongxin's smooth forehead and took out his storage bag to show off. With a storage bag, you don't have to worry about food spoilage. When Rongxin rubbed her forehead, causing a layer of mist to fill Xing's eyes with pain. However, a hint of joy appeared on her face, and then she whispered. It's very expensive, isn't it? You go cook first, and I'll go next door and invite Chen Yinshan and his wife to our house for dinner. Li Guanxuan smiled and then left. When Rongxin let out a small sigh. A storage bag requires at least ten inferior spirit stones. But she couldn't say anything either, after all, Li Guanxuan was in charge at home. When Chen Yinshan and his wife entered, Zhao Gili also went to the kitchen to help, with only two old men chatting in the hall. People who have a wife are different. Their homes are much cleaner and tidier, Chen Yinshan said with a smile while drinking tea. Li Guanxuan took out six inferior spiritual stones and handed them to Chen Yinshan, saying, Here are the spiritual stones of talisman paper. You keep them. There is no monk living in a shantytown who is not shy in his pocket. At that time, Li Guanxuan couldn't go out to buy talisman paper and cinnabar, so Chen Yinshan personally went on a trip for him and advanced the material cost, totaling four inferior spirit stones. Too much. Recently, my talisman skills have improved a lot. When I don't have talisman paper in the future, I'll have to trouble you. Okay, then I'll accept it. Chen Yinshan picked up his tea cup and said with a smile, then I will replace wine with tea. I wish you good luck and prosperity. If you become a second level talisman in the future, don't forget to take care of one or two. They are all neighbors, taking care of each other. Li Guanxuan also picked up his tea cup and the two drank it all in one gulp. The food was also ready soon. During dinner, Zhao Gili smiled and said, Sister Rongxin, I also went from being a mortal warrior to a cultivator. If you have any questions, feel free to come to me. Okay, okay, thank you. A grateful expression appeared in Wen Rong's heart and eyes. Whether it's a warrior or a cultivator, it's better to have someone give you some guidance than to try to figure it out on your own. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Needs to work on a secret technique You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Needs to work on a secret technique After dinner, Chen Yinshan and his wife bid farewell. Farewell to the two, when Rongxin began to tidy up the dishes, and then came over with leftover food. The watery apricot eyes stared at Li Guanxuan without blinking. 
Obviously, she wanted Li Guanchuan to put all these leftovers in a storage bag to avoid waste. Li Guanchuan couldn't help but laugh and cry as he exerted a spell and wrapped up the leftover food and vegetables, saying. Just seal it with magic, no need to use a storage bag. When Rongxin saw that he was mocking himself for being foolish again, and his face turned red with anger. He stomped his feet in anger and said. So, didn't you say that? Li Guanchuan chuckled and pinched his pink oval face, saying, Go take a shower quickly. We'll have to get back to business later. By the way, no matter what our family has in the future, try to hide it as much as possible and not let anyone discover it, after all, wealth is not exposed. Xiao, I got it. As soon as when Rongxin heard that she was going to do something serious, she blushed and turned around to run towards the kitchen. At night. When Rongxin lay in bed, skillfully picking up a blanket to cover her nose, revealing only a pair of round and large apricot eyes, staring silently at Li Guanchuan. Sit up, said Li Guanchuan. Ah. When Rong was taken aback for a moment, sat up. I'm not saying I want to but Li Guanchuan said seriously, I bought two qi gathering pills from Fangshu to see if they can help you successfully condense qi and step into the realm of qi refining. Well, that's the right thing. Upon hearing this, Wen Rongxin's delicate and bright oval face instantly turned red, and her clear and translucent apricot eyes became like a pool of autumn water. She instantly pulled the blanket over her head and hid under it without saying a word. During his half-kidney period, Li Guanchuan laughed heartily, waved his hand and extinguished the candle, beginning to be considerate. About an hour later, Li Guanchuan supported his waist and came out, his face no longer displaying the same energy as before. The pure energy of the Ronghua spirit tree breaks through the dark space and reaches all four limbs within his body. However, for Li Guanchuan, who can only persist for an hour now, these pure energies are a bit scarce if it continues like this, it will take him a monkey year and a horse month to break through to the fourth level of qi refining. No, we need to find a way to master the double cultivation secret technique. Li Guanchuan's face was solemn, and he couldn't help but sigh in his heart. I thought that with the velvet flower spirit tree, my immortal path would become bright, but I didn't expect that there would be numerous branches along the way. Then, Li Guanchuan looked at Wen Rongxin, who had turned into a puddle of water. Since half an hour ago, she has been shouting no more. This also made Li Guanchuan more determined in his inner thoughts, and he must put the double cultivation secret method on the agenda as soon as possible. Otherwise, it may be difficult to obtain the pure energy from the Ronghua spirit tree in the future. Li Guanchuan picked up Wen Rongxin horizontally, took a simple shower, and then delivered some spiritual energy, quietly waiting for her to recover. After half an hour of calmness, Wen Rongxin finally felt better. Looking at Li Guanchuan sitting cross-legged and with his eyes closed, he whispered. Xiang Gong. Why don't you take a concubine? She has really been feeling a bit exhausted lately, and if she continues like this, she may have to soar to immortality one day. Upon hearing these words, Li Guanchuan opened his eyes and his face was filled with surprise, but then returned to normal. This is the realm of cultivation, and polygamy is a normal social phenomenon. But how could there be so many spirit stones to take concubines for someone like him who is a low-dot-level casual cultivator? The money earned from alchemy through drawing symbols is either for daily expenses or for cultivation purposes. Moreover, according to his speculation, Taking a concubine now requires finding a female cultivator to refine qi. If it were still a mortal warrior, the velvet flower spirit tree would probably not be able to spit out a lot of pure energy. Besides, there is another prerequisite for obtaining pure energy heart to heart dual cultivation. If it's just a non emotional dual cultivation aimed at improving cultivation, the velvet flower spirit tree won't receive any rewards. Only when both sides are deeply rooted in each other's hearts can they achieve enlightenment and become immortals. Besides, once you step into the realm of qi refining, you won't feel this fatigue anymore. We can fight for at least 300 rounds every day. 
Li Guanchuan smiled and refused the proposal of Wen Rongxin. Wen Rongxin, however, was particularly sensible. He lightly poked Li Guanchuan's waist with his finger and whispered, even if I could use the gathering qi pill to step into the first level of qi refining, it would be difficult for me to break through to the second level in this life. There is no need to waste spiritual stones. The most important thing is to improve my cultivation level, my lord. She is a bad spiritual root of the five series, and such talent destined her to not go far on the path of cultivating immortality. Being able to spend her life safely and steadily with Li Guanchuan is already very satisfying. Moreover, not only has she been struggling lately, but even Li Guanchuan has been struggling. So, when Rongxin felt that all the spiritual stones he earned should be taken by Li Guanchuan for cultivation. As long as he broke through and built the foundation, he could solve all the problems. Li Guanchuan hugged her in his arms and said with a smile, I've told you before that only when you're physically strong can I have the potential to build a foundation. So, no matter how difficult this path of cultivating immortality is, as long as the couple works together, there are no difficulties that cannot be overcome. Under the sweet words of Li Guanchuan's attack, when Rongxin finally nodded slightly and decided to take the qi gathering pill, striving to enter the qi refining phase. Seeing Wen Rong's heart filled with determination, Li Guanchuan finally felt a little relieved. Entering practice, the state of mind is the most important. Only by not being distracted and not giving up, can the probability of successful condensation increase. With a warm heart, I subdued the qi gathering pill and a warm current rushed into my body, starting to cleanse my tendons and marrow, gathering the spiritual energy of heaven and earth. Li Guanchuan was already prepared, took out the last two inferior spirit stones and stuffed them into her hand, sitting quietly beside her waiting. In a moment the gathered spiritual energy suddenly dissipated. When Rongxin opened her eyes, mist filled the air. She lowered her head, her face full of regret and self-blame, all blaming her for being foolish and wasting these precious resources. It's okay, there's also a gathering qi pill. Li Guanchuan comforted and said, Practice is not easy. You cannot be discouraged by failure. You must have the confidence to overcome this difficulty, and only then can you follow the path of immortality in the future. Encouraged by Li Guanchuan, when Rongxin settled down, adjusted his mood and took the second qi gathering pill. The warm current surged into the body again, causing the delicate body of Wen Rongxin to tremble slightly. After flowing through various parts of the body, the warm current slowly approached the Dantian and quietly formed a sea of qi subsequently, the warm and hardy skin surface slowly precipitated a foul-smelling dark substance. Li Guanchuan was also well prepared, picking up his warm heart and putting it into the bathtub that had already been sprinkled with spices. Xiang, Xiang Gong When Rome was so excited that she couldn't speak. She never expected that with just two gatherings of energy, she would successfully gather a sea of energy in the elixir field. This is all a blessing from heaven. Li Guanchuan smiled and said, Madam, don't give up easily when you enter the path of immortality. Even if it's a bad spiritual root of the five series, the heavens can never refuse to give you a living path. Keep going, as long as you find the path that suits you, you can achieve enlightenment and become an immortal. Mmm. When Rongxin nodded vigorously, and this breakthrough regained her confidence. Even if the normal path cannot be taken, she can still give it a try along the way of martial arts and physical training. After taking a shower, it started to drizzle outside again. The ground quickly turned into mud again, painful and joyful. End of this chapter. Chapter 6. New Neighbors. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6 New Neighbors Day by Day Passed In the past six months, the lives of Li Guanchuan and his wife have been very stable, but occasionally it has caused dissatisfaction from the neighboring couple Chen Yin Shan, who feel that they are too noisy at night. One day, Zhao Gili came over to ask Wen Rongxin for some tips, but she made her very shy. She wanted to lower her voice slightly at night to prevent her neighbors from complaining, but in the end, she couldn't resist. 
This led Chen Yin Shan to come over and learn techniques from Li Guanchuan early this morning, Li Guanchuan was breathing in the spiritual energy of heaven and earth in the yard when he heard a knocking outside the door. He turned his head and looked around, feeling slightly stunned. Is it her? When Rongxin was watering the spiritual field when he heard someone knocking on the door. He immediately ran over and looked curiously at the nun outside the door. Hello. I'm a monk named Xu Yao who just moved in next door. I'm sorry to bother you. Do you have anything to do? It's nothing, it's just that at night, can you? Yes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My guild and I should be more careful. I'm really sorry. Ha, huh, it's okay, it's okay. I understand. Hey, it's you. The nun standing outside the door saw Li Guanchuan walking, and her face immediately showed a look of surprise. The other party turned out to be a cultivator who had kissed her half a year ago, seemingly from the Li family of Dahang. Upon hearing Xu Yao say that he had just moved in next door, Li Guanchuan couldn't help but look to the right with a disappointed gaze. The original owner of the vacant house was named Lao Huang Tu, who struggled on the bottom floor for most of his life. In the end, he resolutely went to the 100000 mountain for a trace of immortal fate. Before leaving, the old man said that he didn't have the courage to argue with others in this life. Now that time is running out, he went out to see what fate would do. Later, Chen Yin Shan brought back news that old Huang Tu had died in a hundred thousand mountains, and his body had been completely consumed by the demon beasts. Seeing when Rongxin's gaze cast upon him, Li Guanchuan briefly recounted his story with the other party, then looked at Xu Yao and smiled. Hello Taoist, last time I was in a hurry and forgot to introduce myself, Li Guanchuan. Xu Yao returned the gift and introduced herself again. With a somewhat complicated gaze, she glanced at Wen Rongxin and said. Li Dao Yu is very fortunate to have found such a virtuous wife. She could see that Wen Rongxin was not only younger than her, but also much more beautiful, with a devilish figure that could not even be concealed by her shabby clothes. Besides Wen Rongxin is also a cultivator who refines qi. And Li Guanchuan has already broken through from the second layer of gas refining to the third layer of gas refining. Remembering her rejection of this marriage at the beginning, Xu Yao couldn't help but feel a bit regretful in her heart. After all, she could see from Wen Rongxin's eyes that the other party had been very happy during this period. It's just a blessing from heaven, Xu Daoyu will also find his own ideal husband. Li Guanchuan smiled, with a slight hint of seeking out guests in his tone. Xu Yao also recognized it, smiled slightly, and turned around to go back to her own home. Li Guanchuan looked at Wen Rongxin and noticed that the other person had wide and watery apricot eyes, and their oval face was flushed. Their hands were intertwined, showing inner tension, but they still stood there with strong support, lightly pursing their lips without saying a word. Obviously, as the hostess of the family, when Rongxin heard that Xu Yao had been on a blind date with her own husband, and instinctively felt a bit wary and repulsed. Even if she is timid and timid, she will still hold on and not shrink back. Li Guanchuan gently stroked his delicate hair and smiled, saying, Madam, this Xu Daoyu is not a good person. He is ambitious and ambitious. If he had not suffered a great loss outside, he would not have moved to the shantytown. So, in the future, it's best for you to keep your distance from her and not associate too much with her upon hearing this, when Rongxin's small face was solemn and she nodded, oh, indicating that she had remembered it deeply. Then she asked softly. Xiang, in the future, Xiangong will take concubines. Can we not take her into the house? She was afraid that she wouldn't be able to compete with such a deep female cultivator. She also doesn't want her home to be chaotic and restless every day. Li Guanchuan cried and laughed uncontrollably, What are you talking about? You. When Rongxin said with a sincere expression, I'm not talking nonsense. With my husband's physique, being alone is far from enough. As a party involved, she has the most say. There is still a way to cultivate martial arts and physical fitness in the world of immortality. 
If you improve your physical fitness, it will be difficult for me to surpass you in the future, Li Guanchuan said with a smile on his face. When Rongxin lightly patted Li Guanchuan and blushed as he whispered, Xiangong, don't be careless. We should also be careful in the future. This Xu Daoyu is not a magnificent one. What are you afraid of? Xu Daoyu is not someone who doesn't know Ding. If she gets annoyed, she can move out, just to save her from scheming with him in the future. Li Guanchuan chuckled, showing no concern on his lips, but kept a cautious eye in his heart. Since the blind date half a year ago, he has known that Xu Yao is not the kind of peaceful person. If it weren't for what happened outside, the other party would never have hidden in this shanty town. Moreover, her own wife has a simple personality and is easily deceived. She must not allow Xu Yao to have too much contact with Wen Rongxin. Thinking of this, a faint chill flashed in Li Guanchuan's eyes. If Xu Yao really threatened their stable life, then he could only seeing that Xiang Gong still had a serious expression on his face, when Rongxin extended his finger and gently poked his waist. It's okay, at least stick a talisman inside the room to isolate the sound, Li Guanchuan laughed. He had already said that talismans can isolate sound, and one can last for a month, but unfortunately, when Rongxin always says it's too wasteful before isothermal Rongxin could speak, Chen Yin Shan walked over and whispered. Lao Li, the foundation building battle that broke out in Qing'an city a few days ago was too terrifying. The four forces besieged the ancestor of Huanxi Mountain, causing him to suffer serious injuries. It is said that he will not be able to do it anymore. Really Li Guanchuan's eyes lit up. Is there such a good thing? As long as the ancestor of Huanxi Mountain dies, will no one in the world except for the leader of Huanxi Mountain know the secret of the Ronghua spirit tree? Great! Li Guanchuan longed for those immortal cultivation forces to quickly destroy Huanxi Mountain, so that he could rest assured and develop well. Chen Yin Shan looked at him with a strange expression on his face and asked, What are you so happy about? It's as if you could become the leader of Huanxi Mountain once the ancestor of Huanxi Mountain dies. Li Guanchuan shook his head and said with a wry smile, Is it not enough to smile? But to get back to business, have they found the long-lost sect treasure tree in Qingyan City? No, those are all fake messages deliberately released by others, setting up traps to ambush and kill the ancestor of Huanxi Mountain. Chen Yin Shan shook his head and sighed lightly, after this battle, the ancestor of Huanxi Mountain was seriously injured, and the leader was also injured in order to save him. Now, some of Huanxi Mountain's industries are likely to change hands. At least Qingyan City will definitely fall into the hands of others. The struggle between immortal cultivation forces is particularly cruel. At times, the sex industry changes ownership, resulting in losses of many immortal cultivation resources. At times, the sect is destroyed, and from then on, it returns to the yellow soil. That has nothing to do with us low-dot-level casual cultivators. Li Guanchuan smiled and said, We little brats should live our lives in peace and stability. Don't dwell on such disputes. By the way, haven't we eaten lunch yet? Call Gili over and I'll settle lunch with you. Well, why are you so embarrassed? Hee <laughs> hee. I'll go get her to come over and help me first. Chen Yin Shan didn't show any courtesy to Li Guanchuan and immediately went home to ask his wife to come over and have a meal. Li Guanchuan smiled as the foundation building battle in Qing'an City came to an end. He could also go to Dongjifang City with peace of mind. Coincidentally, I will dispose of the talisman and seal script that I have accumulated over the past six months, and then buy some more supplies to bring back. I will strive to earn enough spiritual stones for the double cultivation secret technique as soon as possible, so that I can recover to the stage of full kidney. At night, due to the arrival of a new neighbor next door, Li Guanchuan ignored when Rongxin's dissuasion forcibly pasted a talisman to isolate the sound. Subsequently throw the whip and cut off the flow. End of this chapter. Chapter 7. Bargaining, for Collection. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 7 Bargaining, Seeking Collection, 
three months passed in the blink of an eye. Li Guanchuan made his third attempt to break through to the middle stage of gas refining, but the result was still unsatisfactory. There is no way, due to poor qualifications and physical reasons, the frequency of carrying cultivation has to be correspondingly reduced, resulting in less pure energy obtained than before. In addition, Li Guanchuan felt that his talisman skills could be improved, but due to his limited cultivation, he was unable to break through to the top level. I happen to be going to the Wanxiang Pavilion in Dongjifang City today to see if there are any suitable physical training techniques. Li Guanchuan thought to himself. For the past six months, besides tidying up household chores, Wen Rongxin has also set aside a lot of time to practice martial arts every day. However, there are no martial arts secrets or physical training methods, so I can only stand on my posts and swing my fists to exercise my body in the most primitive way. Li Guanchuan was born into the Li family in Daheng. Due to his Li family lineage, he was able to practice the Li family's qi refining technique, Qing Xian Gong, from a young age, so he did not have much trouble with the technique. Each level of cultivation in Qing Xian Gong not only enhances Qing Xian Qi, but also increases lifespan by 10 years, making it a small longevity technique. Now Li Guanchuan has cultivated this technique to the third level, but has yet to break through to the fourth level. Now I have 69 talismans, 11 cold ice talismans, 13 flame talismans, and 2 explosive spirit talismans on hand, consuming a total of 5 first level talismans. In terms of first level medium level talismanship, I am already approaching perfection. Li Guanxuan checked the supplies on his body and found that in addition to his skilled talisman seal, there were also 17 first level lower grade Huiyuan pills, which could sell at least 17 lower grade spirit stones. The double cultivation secret method is not easy to handle, so there should be no problem with the physical cultivation method. By the way, I can buy some ingredients to nourish my waist. Li Guanchuan sighed lightly in his heart, still too poor. If he had the double cultivation secret method, his heart would have to become warm and calm. As soon as he left, Li Guanchuan ran into Xu Yao, who was holding the arm of a fourth-level male cultivator, looking very sweet. Li Dao Yu, are you going out? Xu Yao saw this and said hello with a smile on her face. Well, go out and take a look. Li Guanchuan nodded slightly and looked at the male cultivator with a smile, saying, this is. The male cultivator bowed and introduced himself, I have completed my studies and am proficient in alchemy. I am now a first dot class intermediate. If you need any pills in the future, you can come find me. Definitely next time. Li Guanchuan smiled and nodded before leaving. Bai Chong was taken aback for a moment. He's a Dan master, isn't he supposed to talk a few more words? He is ready to produce some inferior pills Xu Yao explained on the side, he is also an alchemist, a talisman. However, his level of expertise in alchemy is not as high as yours, he is just a lower rank. First order inferior products. Bai Chong suddenly realized and then felt relieved. It is indeed difficult to find a top dot notch alchemist in this shanty town. Since inferior pills cannot be sold, it's better to sell some knowledge of alchemy. A first level lower level alchemist must really want to break through to the first level middle level. Qingyin City East Neighborhood Market, Wanxiang Pavilion. Li Dao Yu, you're here at the right time. Nowadays, the price of talismans and seals has skyrocketed, and you're going to make a fortune. Although half a year had passed, the shopkeeper recognized Li Guanchuan at a glance and said with a smile. Li Guanchuan hesitated for a moment and asked, what happened? If the price of seal script increases, it means that the area near Qingyin City will not be too stable. What can happen is nothing more than taking people's lives while they are sick. In the Wanxiang Pavilion, the shopkeeper speaks frankly. Li Guanchuan also understood that the four major forces of Blood Hand sect, Killing Tower, Qinglei sect, and Luoyue Valley not only wanted to kill the ancestor of Huanxi Mountain, but also to destroy the entire Huanxi Mountain. Only in this way can they obtain a large amount of cultivation resources. 
Can't the leader and ancestor eat enough, and the disciples go hungry, right? The shopkeeper smiled and said, Besides, there are also rumors of activity in the 100,000 mountains. There are several thousand-year-old vines, which are the main raw materials for refining foundation and cultivation pills. Many cultivators have gathered to enter and explore this immortal fate. Li Guanchuan recognized the shopkeeper's intention and chuckled lightly, I'm not strong enough. I'd rather not wade through this muddy water and focus on drawing talismans and refining pills. Let's live a more comfortable life. Ha ha ha. From the moment I saw my fellow Taoist at first glance, I knew that you, like me, are all from the same path. Since you are from the same path, why not give us a more affordable price? Dot. The shopkeeper suddenly became speechless and said helplessly, First, take out the things and take a look. Li Guanchuan took out all the talismans and seals, and kept one explosive spirit talisman for himself. He also kept two talismans for the other protective talismans, two for the cold ice talismans, and two for the flame talismans. When going out, one must always leave a life dot saving talisman seal. The price of amulets fluctuates around 11 or 12 lower grade spirit stones. I'll give you 10 spirit stones per piece, while the cold ice talisman and flame talisman have 12 spirit stones. As for this explosive spirit talisman, its quality is good, with 20 spirit stones per piece. A total of 930 lower grade spirit stones. After calculating the price, the shopkeeper smiled and said to Li Guanchuan, this is quite fair. Li Guanchuan nodded slightly and said, I still have 17 revival pills here. Take a small amount and give me 950 spiritual stones, Taoist. Is there someone like you who can erase like this? The shopkeeper widened his eyes and instinctively raised his voice. Li Guanchuan chuckled and said, I still have to spend money with you. I didn't just take the spirit stone and run away. The shopkeeper sighed and said helplessly, Okay, 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 let's see what else you need. 1,000 First Order Talismans, 100 Bottles of Cinnabar, 3,000 Kilograms of Spiritual Rice, 1,000 Kilograms of Spiritual Vegetables, and 500 Kilograms of Spiritual Meat. As soon as Li Guanchuan finished speaking, the shopkeeper gave the price. There are a total of 700 inferior spirit stones, and you still have 205. Are there any recommended martial arts techniques for physical cultivation? There are also some that can nourish the body's qi and blood. Li Guanchuan stopped pretending now and asked as he rubbed his waist. The martial arts cultivation technique. This is an inferior technique, even if practiced, it may not necessarily lead to a successful foundation. The shopkeeper reminded. Can you recommend it? Li Guanchuan couldn't afford to buy good double cultivation techniques, so he should first exercise his physique to avoid any slight pain in his waist. May 6th Dragon Transformation Technique, this is the best physical cultivation technique. If resources are available, there may be a chance to build a foundation. The original price is 67 spiritual stones, so I'll charge you 50. After speaking, the shopkeeper flipped his palm and a book of martial arts quietly appeared. Li Guanchuan brought it over and carefully examined it. This body cultivation method uses the five organs and six viscera to achieve the effect of exchanging blood and practicing blood, causing a qualitative change in qi and blood. It is convenient to learn various martial arts secrets from all over the world, while continuously enhancing physical fitness, ultimately achieving the legendary invincibility of the diamond. In layman's terms, this skill is indeed very powerful. In the eyes of cultivators, no matter how powerful this technique is, it is nothing more than a body cultivation technique. As long as they have not cultivated an indestructible body, cultivators during the qi refining period can easily defeat them. The body cultivation method that is expected to build a foundation is reasonable with 50 spirit stones, but Li Guanchuan rubbed his hands and said, Brother, do you think I only dare to come here for half a year? Forty spirit stones, right. Fifty. We won't bargain, the shopkeeper shouted with wide eyes. 
Is this guy really addicted to bargaining? End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Robbery and Repair, Revised. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 Robbery and Repair, Revised. In the end, Li Guanchuan also spent 50 yuan on inferior spiritual stones and purchased some medicinal ingredients to nourish the body's qi and blood. After leaving the Wanxiang Pavilion, Li Guanchuan mixed into the crowd and walked out of the Dongjifang city. Grass, I'm still being targeted. Not long after, a chill flashed in Li Guanchuan's eyes and he felt something in his heart. He has been tracked. Although it is inside the spirit city, it is not very safe. Qingyan city is adjacent to 100,000 mountains, and the active cultivators around are almost all licking their blood on the tip of their swords. In order to obtain cultivation resources, they do not compromise their means, and even dare to challenge the rules of the spirit city. Li Guanxuan pretended not to notice and walked as usual, but he did not immediately leave Qingyan city and return to the shantytown. Instead, he shuttled through the streets and alleys of the city, trying to shake off the following robbers. There will be another fierce battle today, with five cultivators engaged in the second and third levels of gas refining and two in the third level of gas refining. Li Guanxuan let out a faint sigh in his heart. Noticing the five robbing cultivators approaching him quickly, Li Guanxuan walked towards the direction of the patrol guards without hesitation. After all, this is in the city. If a battle breaks out, patrol guards will come to stop it as soon as possible and punish the parties involved. Of course, if you don't fight back, you can receive a large amount of compensation. If you fight back, it will be defined as physical altercation, and all parties involved must bear the relevant responsibility. Seeing Li Guanchuan walking towards the direction of the patrol guards, the five robbing cultivators also understood in their hearts that they had been discovered. Damn it, I've been wandering around the city with me for so long. If I don't kill him today, I won't be able to sleep tonight. A big man with a scar on his head said fiercely. They originally thought Li Guanchuan was a relatively wealthy cultivator living in Qingyan city, but they didn't expect this guy to take them around for a long time. It seems that he has already discovered us. Be careful, this person is so vigilant that he may have some life.saving measures said another young man with a pale face, who looked like a weak scholar. The other three nodded slightly, their eyes fixed on Li Guanchuan. They are all people who have stepped into the cultivation world from the secular world, and their talents and qualifications do not meet the requirements of the immortal sect, so they cannot join. Moreover, the spiritual energy concentration in the mortal world is not as high as that in the cultivation world, and they do not want to go back. Therefore, they become plunderers in the cultivation world, trying to build a foundation by constantly plundering resources. As long as the foundation is built successfully, they can at least sneak into the immortal sect and become external deacons, without having to live a cruel life of fighting and killing. Sunset and Dusk Every time Li Guanchuan approached the patrol guards, the five robbing cultivators would immediately disperse and not follow up again. But after he leaves the patrol guard's range, the five robbing cultivators will stick up like dog skin ointment. Once it gets dark, they will take action. Li Guanchuan kept thinking about ways to deal with it, and a fierce expression flashed in his eyes. There is nothing to hide from, so we can only seize the opportunity to take action and slaughter a few of the weakest. When Li Guanchuan turned into an alley, the five robbing cultivators exchanged a glance, with both caution and greed in their eyes. The opportunity is here, seize it yourself. Don't blame me for saying it first. Whoever kills him first will take the big head. No problem. It should be so. Dot. Five robbing cultivators followed suit one after another. This person is cunning, block his way, don't let him escape. That's right, he circled around for half a day, probably already remembering all the terrain in his mind. In order to prevent the fat sheep from slipping away, they dispersed and blocked the way. The three Qi refining second-level garrison cultivators were worried that they were not opponents of the fat sheep and walked together. 
However the second layer of Chi refining, who was walking at the front, had just turned in when a cold ice talisman shot towards him, transforming into an ice cone and piercing his head, causing him to die on the spot. He's a talisman. The two second level Chi refining cultivators were shocked and they saw the situation. But there is no turning back arrow when bowing, and if they don't slaughter this fat sheep, they all feel sorry for their deceased good brother. Kill. The two robbing cultivators had just regained their senses, but only saw the back of Li Guanchuan escaping. Chase. The two robbing cultivators roared and immediately chased after them. Li Guanchuan quickly saw two other Qi refining three layer robbery cultivators, namely the Scar Great Han and the Wealthy Scholar. The topographic map of this place came to his mind and he immediately turned to another alley. A monk living here had just opened the door and saw someone being chased. Without saying a word, he slammed the door shut and cursed. Damn it, I actually encountered this kind of unlucky thing. Encountering robbing and repairing is a common occurrence in grassroots casual cultivation. To build a foundation, one must burn, kill, and plunder. The world is like this. There is no sect, no family, no background. The bottom level cultivators with extremely poor talents and qualifications can only plunder and fight against each other. Otherwise, there will be no day to build the foundation. Li Guanchuan ran away and occasionally counterattacked with his Qingxian Qi, only then throwing out the ice and fire talismans at critical moments. Scared men and weak scholars dare not easily approach. These two types of talismans and seals, even a little carelessness can take their lives. Quickly, Li Guanchuan seized the opportunity again and threw a flame talisman, which exploded the head of a second-level Qi refining cultivator. The Scar Man angrily cursed, stupid people from the mortal world really don't have any brains. Can't you tell that this guy is a tough guy? The opponent is not only a talisman, but also has a very domineering magical energy that can easily penetrate any object warned the weak scholar coldly. The remaining second layer of Qi refining is sweating profusely. It's not an easy task to become a bandit cultivator in the cultivation world. The scarred man sneered inwardly. It's good if these people are killed, at least they can consume Li Guanchuan's mana. Wait for the opponent's mana to dry up, it's not like they're being slaughtered. Just as Li Guanchuan turned into the next alley, he ran into a sharp long sword, which frightened his face. He immediately turned over and dodged. Behind him, the scar man's body surged with magic, throwing out two flying knives. Li Guanchuan quickly gathered all the green and mysterious energy in his body on his upper body, and at the same time slapped a talisman on his body, intending to throw out the most lethal explosive spirit talisman. First, blow up a third layer of gas refining, and the rest will be easy to handle. Dang! The sound of metal collision sounded, sparks splattered everywhere. Upon hearing this sound, Li Guanchuan paused for a moment and stopped injecting magic into the explosive spirit talisman. The long sword that had originally been stabbed at him was also shaken away at this moment. The ferocious scarred man's body had already separated, and his bald head with scars rolled down to the ground. As for the weak scholar and another Qi refining second layer. Both were the same way of death, and their heads were cut off with a sword. Li Guanchuan felt the fluctuation of his magic power and immediately looked up at the night sky. He had a left-hand talisman and a right-hand spirit talisman, extremely alert. The black shadow sword hangs in the air, revealing a delicate and delicate melon seed face, with black eyebrows and fox eyes that are both heroic and charming. Her fair and jade-like legs step on the sword, giving off a hint of a cultivation version of a female hero. Li Guanchuan gratefully said, Thank you very much, Nvexia, for taking the initiative to save us. Female Xia. Black Shadow had a strange expression and said lightly, I'm a man. Li Guanchuan. Dot. Seeing that Li Guanchuan didn't believe it, the dark figure reached out and touched his face, then hurriedly wielded his sword and left. It's broken. It's time for the plastic surgery. Whoosh. 
The gentle breeze blew over, bringing up a few fallen leaves, and Li Guanchuan's expression was as stiff as a wooden chicken. Is there still such a situation? Forget it, let's lick the bag first. Li Guanchuan noticed that there was no one around and quickly went over to flip through the storage bag inside the body. Apart from the long sword and two flying knives, there is not even a hair in the storage bag. Poor and crazy, this is. P.S. For collection, for recommended tickets. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Coarse Tea and Simple Rice. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Coarse Tea and Simple Rice Not a poor cultivator would run out to rob any more Li Guanchuan thought of the reason and then weighed the long sword in his hand. First level intermediate level magic tool. The quality is good, and if sold in the local market, it should be around 30.40 spiritual stones. As for the other two lower grade flying knives, there are only five or six spirit stones. Li Guanchuan didn't stay here much. He wandered around Qing'an city twice and only then returned to the shanty town in the eastern suburbs with peace of mind after realizing that there was no one following him. The outer city area of Qing'an city is relatively stable. Obviously, the conflict between Huanxi Mountain and the other four major forces did not affect the lives of the cultivators in the city. At most, there were some signs of fighting in the inner city area, but the impact was not significant, and it was not as terrifying as Chen Yin Shan claimed. This guy has further escalated the situation and always boasted to me. On the way back, Li Guanchuan had already made up his mind that the suburban shantytown was never a place to settle down. If he wanted to live with peace of mind and peace of mind, he would have to rent a house in the outer city area of Qing'an City. Before he arrived home, Li Guanchuan saw a thin figure sitting in the yard from a distance, holding his chin in both hands and waiting quietly. Only as he slowly approached, the figure's eyes suddenly became bright and ran happily outside the door to greet him. I encountered a small matter and came back late. Li Guanchuan grabbed Wen Rongxin's small waist and lightly kissed her forehead. Someone. Wen Rongxin leaned shyly against Li Guanchuan's arms and whispered. Li Guanchuan turned his head and cursed, What are you looking at? You don't have a wife, do you? Chen Yin Shan stood outside his own house and laughed heartily, Don't be in a hurry to be gentle for now. There's plenty of time tonight. Today, my family is hosting, come over and have a meal. At this moment, the door of another house also opened and Bai Chong walked out from inside, bowing and bowing. Li Dao Yu, Xu Yao has already prepared a table of dishes. Could you please have a casual meal? It can be seen as a way to enhance the neighborhood relationship. Upon hearing this, Li Guanchuan was taken aback for a moment, then looked at Chen Yin Shan and said he really didn't know about it. Chen Yin Shan was taken aback for a moment. Although Xu Yao had been moving here for three months, they were just nodding acquaintances and not yet able to eat together. However, since they were all neighbors, Chen Yin Shan didn't mind too much. He smiled and said, All right, let's all come to my house for dinner. How about coming to your house again next time? Bai Chang's face showed an embarrassed expression, and then she bowed and smiled, saying, As my fellow Taoist said. I'll go over later, Li Guanchuan said to Chen Yin Shan. Chen Yin Shan nodded. Returning to the room and closing the door, Li Guanchuan took out a storage bag and handed it to Wen Rongxin, saying, There are things like spiritual rice, vegetables, and meat inside, as well as a body cultivation method and a pill for nourishing qi and blood. Please keep it. Having a storage bag at home is enough. Wen Rongxin took the bag and murmured softly. Li Guanchuan explained with a smile, this storage bag was given by the shopkeeper of the Wanxiang Pavilion, not by me spending money to buy it. After all, I have bought so many things from him. How can I justify not giving a storage bag? Upon hearing this, when Rongxin happily put away the storage bag, like a woman who is extremely greedy for small gains. Then, Li Guanchuan whispered, I also bought a large jar of deer whip wine. 
The shopkeeper said that this deer had a cultivation of seven levels of qi refining before its death, and we don't know if it's true or false. Let's give it a try tonight. If the shopkeeper dares to deceive me, he'll go back and smash his sign. Xiang, Xiang Gong, there's no proper way. When Rongxin shyly tapped him and then whispered, Bai Dao Yu next door came over this afternoon to ask if I need any pills. He can sell them to us at a cheaper price. What kind of pill? Li Guanchuan didn't pay much attention and casually asked. He has all of these pills, such as the staying yen pill, washing marrow pill, returning yuan pill, and protecting meridian pill, when Rongxin replied. Does he have a resident yen dan? Li Guanchuan was somewhat surprised. The Zhu Yen pill was a top dot grade pill, and how could Bai Chang's intermediate alchemy be achieved? Is it a low dot quality pill? Thinking of this, Li Guanchuan probably understood. Bai Chong thought that the people in the shantytown had never seen top quality pills before, so she brought some inferior pills to sell here, making people mistakenly believe that she had made a big profit. Li Guanchuan shook his head helplessly and said, Madam, you don't need to pay too much attention to him in the future. If he still comes to sell pills, you can just say no, as for the Zhu Yen pill. I will go buy one for you in a while. There is no woman in the world who doesn't love beauty, let alone a cultivator whose time passes quickly. If there is no immortal staying pill for eternal appearance, even if it is not spoken, the heart will still be a bit anxious. After a moment of warmth, the two of them arrived at Chen Yinshan's house. As soon as he entered the door, Li Guanchuan saw Bai Chong selling pills, which made Chen Yinshan and Zhao Gili and his wife particularly embarrassed. The couple is not the kind of person with limited knowledge. They have wandered through the mountains of 100,000 and have a good understanding of many things. The staying yen pill in Bai Chong's hand is undoubtedly a low dot quality pill. Seeing Li Guanchuan coming, Chen Yinshan finally breathed a sigh of relief in his heart and quickly called out, Old Li Rongxin is here. Come, come, sit down quickly, otherwise the food will be cold. Brother Yinshan, although the Zhu Yen pill has some flaws, it can still maintain its appearance forever. I think my sister Dot in Dot Law actually quite likes it, Bai Huan chuckled. Zhao Gili was a bit impatient and forced a smile on her face, saying, it's okay. Mainly, we don't have so many spirit stones to buy at home. Don't bring up this matter again, Bai Dao Yu. Otherwise, our husband and wife will definitely have an argument. Bai Quan sneered and then took out two pills, saying, why don't you take a look at the Yuan Dan and the pulse protecting pill this time? Brother Yin Shan and his sister Dot In Dot Law often go hunting, so there must be some pills for self. Defense. We don't lack any of these pills. Chen Yin Shan spoke in a plain tone and turned to greet Li Guanchuan as he sat down. He smiled and said, Old Li, don't mind having a simple meal. Our family is not as affluent as you, a first dot class intermediate level talisman. If my family could have such a simple meal every day, it would be a godly day, Li Guanchuan laughed heartily. First level intermediate product. Xu Yao was taken aback for a moment. If she remembers correctly, half a year ago, Li Guanchuan was just a first level lower level talisman but it doesn't matter, at least the man she has found now is a fourth level cultivator of qi refining and a first level intermediate level alchemist. Both his strength and skills are superior to those of Li Guanchuan. Bai Chong ate while saying, cultivating immortals is a top priority, and alchemy is the top priority. It's best for those who observe Xiendao to spend more time improving their alchemy skills. As long as you become a first dot class alchemist, you won't have to worry about food, drink, and cultivation resources in the future. As she spoke, Bai Chong muttered, Why don't you have any wine? Chen Yin Shan and Zhao Gili's faces slightly changed. Xu Yao lightly kicked by Ruan whispered, People living in shanty towns don't have any spare money to buy alcohol. Don't complain here. Upon hearing this, Bai Chong also realized that she had said the wrong thing and quickly said, I'm sorry, I've become accustomed to eating with friends in Qingyan City. 
I'll punish myself with one cup, replace tea with wine, and punish myself with one cup. Chen Yinshan and Li Guanchuan couldn't just flip their faces and picked up their teacups and drank them all in one gulp. After putting down the teacup, Bai Huan picked up another large piece of meat and put it into the bowl, then put another large piece of meat in her mouth, and confidently said to Xu Yao. Don't worry, at most one year, at least six months, I will take you to live in the outer city of Qing'an city and enjoy the joy of family life. End of this chapter 10. Chapter 10 For layers of gas refining, for collection. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 For layers of gas refining, for collection, what kind of thing? After Bai Chong and Xu Yao left, Chen Yinshan's face turned pale with anger. Zhao Gili was also angry and said, Yes, if he has the ability, why would he live here? If he has the ability, move to the outer city now. Also, looking at his way of desperately squeezing meat, it feels like he has never eaten meat in eight lifetimes. There are several pieces in the bowl, and there is still one piece in his mouth, afraid that others will compete with him when Rongxin gently poked her arm beside her, indicating that she should stop scolding. Zhao Gili said, Rong Xian, you are kind-hearted and don't argue with others. I can't stand living next door to them now, and you will be a bit annoyed in the future. Regarding this, Wen Rongxin only smiled slightly and did not pay attention. Zhao Gili let out a long sigh and looked at Li Guanchuan, warning, oldly, you must teach her more and make her sometimes be more ruthless, otherwise she will definitely be bullied in the future. Okay, okay. Li Guanchuan nodded with a smile and looked at Wen Rongxin, saying, go and get some appetizers. I'll have a few drinks with Lao Chen tonight. Mmm. When Rongxin whispered, Glorious, let me borrow your stove. Chen Yinshan was stunned for a moment and asked, Did you bring wine over? Li Guanchuan took out a large jar of wine from his storage bag and said with a smile, Do you want to drink dear whip wine? I'm so good, you really made a fortune. Chen Yinshan quickly leaned in and hugged the wine jar, sniffing it vigorously. His face was filled with joy and he said, it's still soaked in highly spiritual wine, it's strong enough. Zhao Gili and Wen Rongxin looked at it, and the two women's faces immediately turned red. They quickly left the land of trouble. In no time, the dishes and drinks arrived. Chen Yin Shan took a sip of the deer whip spirit wine and sighed deeply, fortunately, you didn't take out this wine earlier. If you take it out, you probably will see the bottom tonight. Zhao Gili said next to her, maybe you can't even see the medicinal herbs. Li Guanchuan smiled and said, they also said that at most one year, at least half a year, and then they will move out of this place and live in the outer city. Just endure it and go. Oh, just him. Zhao Gili sneered and said, it's not that I belittle him, but rather that men like him only know how to draw pancakes. Do you believe it, he will still live here a year later. Don't talk behind people's backs, at least it's still a four-level alchemy, Li Guanchuan reminded. At this moment, Chen Yin Shan put down his wine bowl and said with a serious expression, Recently, there seem to be many natural resources and treasures in the 100,000 mountains that have matured. Old Li, are you interested in doing this? Li Guanchuan shook his head and said, You don't know me. You're a coward. I'll just stay at home and draw symbols. I don't want to live this life of licking blood on the tip of a knife. Ah, that's right. You have the ability to make a living, unlike me, you can only go out and explore. After speaking, Chen Yin Shan drank the wine from the bowl in one gulp, his eyes full of bitterness. Li Guanchuan suggested, All right, every time you go out to pick herbs and hunt monsters, I can provide you with talismans and seal scripts, but I have to divide everything you get in half. How about that? Chen Yin Shan's eyes lit up and he immediately agreed, no problem. He himself has a three-dot layer cultivation of refining qi, and with so many talismans and seals on his body, at least his safety is not a problem, and he can still make an extra profit. Li Guanchuan smiled and said, come find me a month later. 
Also, don't become greedy just because you have talismans and seals around you. Every time you set a goal when you go out, come back as soon as you almost reach it. Don't risk your life on a hundred thousand mountains. Speaking of this, Li Guanxuan still felt a bit uneasy and said seriously to Zhao Gili, Gili, you better keep an eye on him and don't let anything happen. Don't worry, I remember. Zhao Gili nodded solemnly. Although the treasure is good, it still needs to have a life flower. After drinking for about an hour, Li Guanxuan and Wen Rongxin went home. After taking a shower, Li Guanxuan, who was in his full kidney period, couldn't wait to be considerate. The shopkeeper of the Wanxiang Pavilion did not deceive him. This dear whip wine that's really exciting. That night, Li Guanxuan transformed into an eighth level strong wind, and his heart became warm and composed. Until dawn. Li Guanxuan sat cross legged on the bed, with no signs of fatigue on his face, no soreness in his waist or legs, and even felt that he could still touch his heart a few more times. Just Li Guanxuan turned his head to look at Wen Rongxin, who had fallen asleep. He chuckled and said, Is that all that's left of his defeated subordinates? Subsequently, Li Guanxuan closed his eyes to the underworld and turned his spiritual consciousness inward. A continuous stream of pure energy gushes out from the velvet flower spirit tree, breaking through the dark space and transforming into the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, crazily washing through the meridians and bones of the whole body, and finally approaching the sea of Dantian Qi. The main purpose of a cultivator during the Qi refining period is to connect the twelve meridians and the eight extraordinary meridians. The twelve meridians are divided into the Hand Three Yin Meridian, Hand Three Yang Meridian, Foot Three Yang Meridian, and Foot Three Yin Meridian, also known as the Twelve Meridians. After all twelve meridians are connected, one can reach the fourth level of Qi refining. Nowadays, Li Guanchuan is unable to connect the Foot Taiyin Spleen Meridian, Foot Jiyin Liver Meridian, and Foot Shaoyin Kidney Meridian. However, a night of diligent and thoughtful cultivation also made Li Guanchuan vaguely feel signs of breakthrough. With just a little effort, he can break through the Foot Three Yin Meridian and reach the fourth level of Qi refining. At noon, when Rongxin woke up and saw her husband practicing cross legged on the bed, she didn't dare to disturb him and got out of bed lightly. After lunch, when Rongxin began practicing the 5 6 dragon transformation technique, if she doesn't improve her physical fitness recently, she really can't withstand Li Guanchuan's attack. But she didn't give up at all, after all. Her husband relied on external resources, but she relied on her own strength. Until nightfall, Li Guanchuan showed no signs of opening his eyes at all. In order not to disturb him, when Rongxin sat in a chair and closed his eyes all night. Three days later, Li Guanchuan suddenly opened his eyes, and a stronger qi machine quietly emerged. The spiritual energy in the sea of Dantian qi gathered more and more, and the thick green Xian Qi lingered around him. Refining gas on four levels. Qing Xian Gong has also reached its fourth level. Not only that, Li Guanxuan felt that there was no problem with drawing a top dot grade talisman seal now. Unfortunately, only people of the Li family's bloodline can practice Qing Xian Gong, otherwise it can be passed on to the Empress. Li Guanxuan sighed lightly and turned his head to look out the window. When Rongxin is diligently practicing the 5 6 dragon transformation technique in the yard. Every time she punches and kicks, she can faintly see a hint of energy, and her body's qi and blood are much stronger than before. But there is still a long way to go before breaking through the Hand 3 Yang Classic and reaching the second level of qi refining. It's time to draw symbols, and I also want to try to move into the outer city as soon as possible. Li Guanchuan thought to himself that living in the shanty town on the outskirts all the time was not a solution. If anything happens outside Qingyan City, a qi refining cultivator like him would instantly become cannon fodder. Moving into the outer city, besides being safe, one can also feel the spiritual energy of the first order spiritual meridians. Subsequently, Li Guanchuan walked out of the room without disturbing Wen Rongxin's practice, and walked straight to the cultivation room. 
When Rongxin sensed that Xiangong had come out, and even felt that Xiangong's aura was much stronger than before. But as she fell into a state of practicing, she couldn't stop there and had to continue to persevere. In the cultivation room, Li Guanchuan remained calm and focused, and decided to start with the most skilled talisman. After all, he has been painting this talisman seal script for over twenty years, and he remembers every pattern clearly, except for the slightly unfamiliar patterns of the top grade. As he lightly tapped the spiritual blood cinnabar while writing, Li Guanchuan quickly drew intricate and mysterious patterns on the talisman paper. The four layers of spiritual energy condensed on the tip of the pen, allowing each stroke to fall perfectly, no more or less. After a moment, Li Guanchuan's forehead was covered in fine sweat, but he gritted his teeth and persisted. Until the talisman was fully formed, Li Guanchuan breathed a sigh of relief and couldn't help but smile on his face. Success. Just one go. No rune paper loss. This also means that Li Guanchuan has officially become a first dot class rune master. Next, as long as he draws the cold ice rune, flame rune, and explosive spirit rune well, he can try to draw other seal characters. End of this chapter.